looking for a top value in a pickup, choose from one of the many models and series of tough Chevys for 1980. Available in two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. With GVW ratings from 4,900 to 10,000 pounds, the high-styled Chevy fleet side in six and a half or eight foot boxes has a quick release tailgate that removes in seconds. Chevy's classic step side, a fun machine, featuring handy side steps for easy loading or unloading of cargo in six and a half or eight foot box lengths. Four-door crew cab models have plenty of room for six adults. And the four-door bonus cab seats three up front with nearly 56 cubic feet of lockable storage space behind the front seat. Both models have an eight-foot box and GVWRs from 8,600 up to 10,000 pounds. Chevy's chassis cab accommodates a wide range of vocational bodies. It's available in regular as well as bonus cab and crew cab models. Chevy pickups and chassis cabs are available in three basic series. Series 10 trucks are tough, versatile half-tonners. The Big 10 pickup is the heavy-duty 10 series that can be equipped to carry well over three-quarters of a ton of gross payload, including passengers, cargo, and options. Series 20 is designed for even heavier commercial-type loads or large slide-in campers, and when properly equipped, can haul more than 3,900 pounds of gross payload. Chevy's 30 series is the rugged workhorse of the line, with gross payload capacities exceeding two tons. Adding dual rear wheels increases gross payload to over 4,600 pounds and towing capacity up to 13,500 pounds. And for extra heavy duty jobs, their Chevy 30 series chassis cabs with dual rear wheels in two and four wheel drive, designed to get going when the going is tough. These are the Chevy pickups and chassis cabs for 1980. Tough, value-packed trucks designed for all kinds of tough work and hard play. Nineteen eighty Chevrolet Blazer, offering the kind of value people are looking for in a tough on off road vehicle. The two wheel drive model offers the same rugged four by four look that made Blazer famous, while featuring the same tough independent front suspension that gives other Chevy two wheel drive light duty trucks their impressively smooth ride. Four wheel drive Blazer offers value in the efficiency of Chevy's 1980 part-time transfer case and locking front hubs that take Blazer four-wheeling when the going gets tough. Or can be shifted into more economical two-wheel drive when driving under normal conditions. Value of choice between standard three-speed manual or optional four-speed manual transmission or an optional three-speed automatic that's now available with Chevy's part-time four-wheel drive. And two distinctive tops are available, a removable reinforced weather-tight hardtop or a soft top convertible, featuring three fun driving positions, fully enclosed, half open, safari style, or completely open. Value and versatility, that's Blazer with its available back seat that can accommodate three adults comfortably with their baggage or fold down to accommodate a lot of cargo, or come out to accommodate even more cargo. Yes, Blazer has the value people are looking for in 1980, because Chevrolet engineers designed it in. The value in Chevrolet Suburban for 1980 is its versatility. 
unbeatable station wagon utility combined with the toughness of a rugged Chevy truck. Suburban is designed for towing large trailers. A C20 with recommended optional equipment can tow trailers weighing up to 9,500 pounds. Choose from four models. Two-wheel drive C10 or C20, sized right to handle family needs, or the part-time four-wheel drive K10 and K20 Suburbans for on-road or rugged off-road versatility. Suburban features a roomy interior that makes it a comfortable people carrier. Seating up to nine adults with the available second and third rear bench seats. Or, with rear seat removed and center seat folded, it converts to a hauler with 144 cubic feet of protected cargo space. Standard rear doors open wide for easy handling of cargo. Or there's an available wagon type tailgate. Suburban for 1980, a versatile people cargo carrier. Stylish, roomy, and tough. That's value, built in by the people at Chevrolet. Chevrolet styling for 1980 adds to the enjoyment and pride of ownership of a Chevy pickup, blazer, or suburban. This year, standard front-end styling has a new bolder grille that complements the contoured lines and visual appeal of Chevy's design. New headlamp and parking lamp bezels are integral, which adds to the overall tough truck image. A new chrome grille with rectangular headlamps and larger parking lamps, standard on Silverado, is available on other models to add distinction. This chrome grille with black accents is a standard feature of the high-style Chevy Sport pickup option, which includes a two-tone paint scheme, special sport striping, color-coordinated bumpers, and a stand-up hood ornament. And on the inside, the upgraded Scottsdale interior trim, plus attractive floor carpeting. The sporty bucket seats shown here are optional. Chevy offers many available exterior options to help give a customized look to Chevy's already stylish designs. Chrome bumper, two-tone paint schemes with bright molding, many stylized wheels and wheel covers, bright mirrors and body molding accents. Chevy's available interiors complement exterior styling. Many are more luxurious than many passenger cars. The custom deluxe exterior has smooth lines that fully reflect Chevy's tough truck appearance. The attractive custom deluxe interior is standard. In pickup and suburban, it features handsome houndstooth vinyl seat trim, new wolf grain vinyl facings, color keyed door trim panels, and a color keyed instrument panel. And in blazer, sporty high back buckets. Then there's the 1980 Scottsdale trim. All the features of custom deluxe and more. Highlights include chrome front bumper, body side spear molding, bright windshield moldings, rear window molding on pickup, and bright side window moldings on Suburban. While on the inside, new hobnail patterned velour custom cloth with new wolf grain vinyl facings and bolsters. Or you can choose new Brahmin grain custom vinyl or striped vinyl is available. Cheyenne exteriors include the styling features of Scottsdale, plus bright upper body side moldings and applique on the cab back panel and fleet side tailgate. The Cheyenne interior gives a choice of the new custom vinyl or the new velour custom cloth seat trim with door storage pockets, color keyed carpeting, perforated headliner, custom steering wheel, and a high style instrument cluster. For the ultimate in style, Silverado, offering the features other trim levels provide plus 
matching lower body side moldings, wheel lip moldings, and satin finish tailgate applique on fleet side pickup and blazer. And on the inside, even more interior luxury. Color keyed cut pile carpeting on lower doors. Distinctive door panel trim, full gauge instrumentation, and bright finished instrument cluster panel. And for your pickup or suburban, select available high back bucket front seats, which include color keyed floor carpeting, center console, bright full length sill plates, and floor insulation. Chevy's 1980 pickups, blazers, and suburbans offer a vast array of exterior and interior options and trim levels that are styled for enjoyment, pride, and value. Chevy comfort and convenience starts with a body that's mounted low on the frame for a low step height and large door openings that make it easy to get in and out of the cab. Chevrolet pickups, blazers, and suburbans are designed to meet very high quality standards of comfort and convenience through a special engineering and testing program called Human Factors Engineering. Chevy's riding comfort begins with its independent front suspension and two-stage rear springs on two-wheel drive models. It's completed here, where people sit, on bench and bucket seats, thick urethane foam padding, and special steel cushion springs calibrated to give solid support, yet soft riding comfort on rough, bumpy roads. Comfortable, rugged seating is tested on this seat bounce machine that applies 200,000 cycles of continuous bounce and twist action to springs, frame, foam, and fabrics on bench and bucket seats. To achieve accuracy, weights are added to simulate different sized people. This test helps engineers analyze foam for proper density to provide a good balance between support and yield. Seating posture is important to driving comfort. For 1980, the full foam bench seat back has an increased angle of three and a quarter degrees to relax shoulder, arm, back, and leg muscles for driving comfort. An available tilt steering wheel can add to that comfort with its six different driving positions. Chevrolet engineers have designed an interior that has a luxurious feeling of spaciousness. By using big glass areas and specially placed narrow windshield pillars, they have given driver and passengers an impressive wide view of the surroundings, whether in a pickup, a blazer, or a suburban. The inset design of the instrument cluster adds to the feeling of spaciousness. Instruments and controls are positioned for easy reading and adjustment. And Chevy's flow-through power ventilation system brings a continuous flow of outside air into the cab as soon as the ignition key is turned on. And there's optional all-weather air conditioning with economy vent and heater positions for inside comfort any time of the year. In the Suburban, there's an optional rear air conditioning unit that operates in conjunction with the front unit. For 1980, Chevy offers available power door locks and power windows on Suburban, as well as on pickup and blazer. And there are many more options to choose from, including new radio combinations with CB and stereo systems. Yes, comfort and convenience is not just something that happens at Chevrolet. It's engineered in to increase enjoyment and enhance the value of Chevy's tough trucks. Chevy trucks look tough, sound tough, and are built to stay tough because Chevy engineers design toughness in 
and test that toughness in the lab and on the proving grounds. For example, frame, cab, and suspension are subjected to over 200 hours on this specially designed road simulator. The backbone of all Blazers, Suburbans, and Chevy pickups is a tough ladder-type truck frame of deep channel section construction. Side rails and cross members are made of stamped carbon steel and are designed for strength without excess weight. Rails are tested to a yield strength of 39,000 pounds per square inch. Frame cross members are riveted to the upper and lower rail, like the framework on a bridge configuration, to add torsional strength to the chassis. Chevy cabs are also engineered lightweight and tough. Windshield pillars are heavily reinforced for structural rigidity. Door opening frames are one-piece stampings to give doors a precise fit for anti-rattle and weather tightness. The instrument panel is one-piece welded steel to help provide structural rigidity to the cab. Embossments or ribs are stamped into the steel floor panels and rear cab panels to provide rigidity without adding the weight of heavier gauge steels or added structural members. Embossments are used in many other areas, saving weight, which allows big payloads. But the strength of tough Chevy trucks is in the proving. This is one of the many tests Chevy trucks go through. Chevy's two-wheel drive front suspension is designed to allow the wheel, spring, and shock on one side to independently absorb bumps and ruts without transferring forces to the other side. The foundation for Chevy's front suspension is a massive steel girder beam. This girder beam is a stamped three-sided configuration section with a matching contoured plate welded to the bottom, leaving a hollow center. Engineering ingenuity built strength, stability, and torsional rigidity into a hollow weight-saving structure, tough enough to be a major component in a Chevy truck. Chevy suspensions are tested tough at the GM proving grounds. And in the lab, this scientific bumpy road is as punishing as the real thing, maybe more so. Before this test is complete, this suspension will have absorbed about two and a half million simulated bumps. This Belgian block road has real bumps, specially designed for torturous test driving, over thousands of actual miles. While the massive girder beam independent suspension handles tough assignments up front, Chevy's two-stage multi-leaf springs handle rugged jobs at the rear. Unloaded, a few leaves come into play, providing a soft ride. Loaded, all the leaves go to work to carry and cushion the additional weight. At Chevrolet, truck toughness goes beyond rugged frame and suspension. Continuous research, testing, and application of anti-corrosion treatments are part of Chevrolet's commitment to build trucks that stay tough. Certain areas are built with special alloy steels and pre-coated metals. Here's Chevy's basic anti-corrosion treatment of a Chevy door. Zinc-coated steel is used for the door panels. After a cleaning preparation for good paint adherence, all door surfaces are dipped or spray primed with paint. The outer surfaces get a high luster coat of chip-resistant acrylic enamel that's baked on. Finally, the lower inner door is heavily coated with moisture-repellent aluminum wax preservative. Chevy trucks are designed and built to stay tough because they're engineered that way. No matter where or how a Chevy pickup, Blazer, or Suburban is intended to be used, Chevrolet offers the engine, transmission, and rear axle ratio needed to effectively do the job. Choose the right engine from this big selection of available sixes or V8s, plus diesel efficiency for C10 pickup models. The fuel-efficient 4.1-liter six-cylinder engine is ideal for many work or recreation uses, or order the 5-liter V8 power for a little bit heavier duty requirements. The Husky 5.7-liter four-barrel V8 features a new single inlet dual outlet muffler system 
which increases horsepower. And for four-wheel driving in backcountry, and for heavy towing, the 6.6-liter, 400-cubic-inch V8. And again, for 1980, Chevy offers heavy-duty power when it's needed in the 7.4-liter, 454-cubic-inch V8. Because of varying requirements, Chevrolet offers a select choice of standard and available transmissions to meet performance and convenience needs. The standard three-speed manual transmission, in combination with the sixes and small V8 engines, helps provide fuel economy. The four-speed manual has a very deep low gear to more effectively multiply engine torque, thus providing impressive pulling capacity, especially in combination with medium to high rear axle ratios. Chevy's three-speed automatic has good pulling performance with heavy loads and provides the convenience of no shift driving on or off the highway. Chevy also offers a good selection of rear axle ratios to help provide required drive team performance in a variety of road, load, and trip conditions. For example, in flat country with light loads, a numerically low axle ratio will help meet most driving needs. Or, driving in rugged hilly country and carrying bigger loads, higher rear axle ratios will provide the needed pulling power when combined with the proper engine and transmission. For 1980, all tough Chevrolet trucks offer impressive performance. A good example is this Chevy pickup with its standard 4.1 liter 6, designed for impressive performance with fuel efficiency, with impressive power and quick response. In 1980, when efficiency is more important than ever, Chevrolet has the engines, transmissions, and axle ratios for the kind of power teams needed for today's kind of driving. Chevy 4x4s have up to twice the traction of two-wheel drive Chevy trucks. For getting through snow, mud, sand, and up steep hills. Basically, a four-wheel drive Chevy has all the driveline components of two-wheel drive, plus a front driving axle, front drive shaft, and a transfer case which, when engaged, splits the power from the engine equally between the front and rear axle assemblies. For 1980, all Chevy 4x4s feature part-time four-wheel drive with front hubs that can be unlocked, allowing front wheels to turn freely. This will contribute to lessened fuel consumption because the front wheels will not have to drive the axle shafts, axle gears, or front propeller shaft while traveling in two-wheel drive. Shifting the transfer case into four-wheel drive and locking the front hubs provides the vehicle's traction in more difficult driving situations. Here's an example. This Chevy 4x4 is in the two-wheel drive mode. In four-wheel drive, there's enough traction to handle the job with ease. Chevy's two-speed transfer case provides a choice of three driving modes for different driving conditions. Too high is for direct two-wheel drive and is to be used when driving on hard surfaces with good traction. Be sure to unlock the front hubs to help reduce fuel consumption. Four high is for direct four-wheel drive over rough terrain or reduced traction surfaces. Use only when necessary since operation in four-wheel drive increases fuel consumption. For extra tough going through deep mud and snow or up steep grades, Chevy has four low. It doubles the gear reduction and provides extra driving torque to all four wheels. Operating a Chevy 4x4 is simple and easy. To go from two-wheel to four-wheel drive, stop the truck, apply the parking brake, lock the front hubs, and with the transmission in neutral position, 
shift the transfer case to four high or four low, depending on the driving surface. Shift the transmission back into gear, release the parking brake, and drive off. When re-entering onto hard surfaces, shift the transmission to neutral, apply the parking brake, shift the transfer case to too high, and the hubs to free position. If you're traveling very short distances on hard surfaces, however, it's not necessary to unlock the hubs but you should shift the transfer case to too high. Remember that fuel economy is best when the hubs are free. Chevy four-wheel drive can add to the pleasure and workability of a Chevy truck.